Hi everyone. So um, I, this video is going to show you how to get that pairing code that you're going to need to create your account in Canvas. And I want to start by telling you now that if you have a you like if you want two parents, different parents, to look at the same child's account, you will have to make different pairing. Okay, uh, codes for each kid. So we'll discuss that more later. I just want you to know that going in because I know a question that's going to ask is, well, you know, I can see, you know, my son's information, but I want my husband to be able to see it also. Can we use the same pairing code? No, you have to generate a new pairing code for each kid, for each person that's going to be looking at it. So Let's go in. So we go back to the landing page. SOMSD K12.nj.us Canvas is the landing page. We are going to click on the student portal part. Now you're going to log in with, the students will log in with their district Google account. So what if they forgot their student, their Google account? It happens. Go to email info k 12 nj.us and request they reset your password. Or you can reach out to the school's library and media specialist via email to get that information. Or if you're new to the district and you don't have a Google Apps account, I it seems that as of um, September 1st, you should be able to check the e-document section of the parent portal to get that information. So how do we do this? If, once you have your student's account, we click on the student portal part right here. Then we log, you make your child log in. Now, I this is a little parent tip. I always have my child's information on how he can log in. It's helpful to make sure because my child is ADHD. And so sometimes he will forget, he, he swears he like turned in a project or something or I did that paper, and but I can't find it. So I, it's just easier for me to be able to go into his account to see sometimes because parents can't always see, especially in Google, some of the things that the students have. So I'm going to click in here and log in as my son. Now, when I log in as my son, it's going to take it to his account. Right now, there's nothing really on his dashboard or in his courses because nothing's been loaded. But what we need is we need to get to this account area because in this account area is where we will find that code. So we go to the account area and we go to settings. It's in the settings that you will find that code. You see this code over here on the side here. So it's account settings and then pair with in a with observer and you can add multiple observers so you're going to get a code and this code is going to be it'll be around for seven days or until you use it it generates new codes each time you come in and you hit it so you take that code you copy it right click if you're using a mouse copy and then you go back into your account so we can go back to SMSD, we can go to Canvas, and then we can click on the link to the parent portal account. I would honestly, a little trick, if you're using Chrome, it's really simple, just bookmark this tab because this is the tab that you're gonna always use from now on to log into as a parent. So hit that little star and bookmark it and you know make it a Canvas login. Um, in your bookmark bar, you can make your life a lot easier. So um, for right here, I already have an account, but if it's, remember we go to this little part up here to click here for an account. So you put your name in, you know, Alyssa Malspina or whatever, your email address. Remember again, we wanna make it the email address that is going to be, that you're gonna get information to. Don't make it your work email or one that might go to spam. Make it one that you're checking all the time because that's where all the notifications and everything's gonna go to. Then you make the password. Nobody, you, we don't get one generated from anyone. You make the password, make it something you're gonna remember. 
re-enter that password. What's really nice is that we no longer have to wait for somebody. If we forget the password, Canvas takes care of it and changes it. We don't have to go and, you know, like we have to do for the Google accounts to get somebody to change it for us. It now just it, um, does it automatically. And here's where you put in that, that student parent pairing code that you got from Canvas. So you just put it in there and you hit start participate. When you start participate, when you log in, it's going to look like something like this, where you're gonna get your dashboard. Yay, we have now made it and we are in our account. I will, in a few, the next videos and previous, more information, we'll, I'll show you sort of what it looks like and how to navigate this account, but this was to get you the pairing information. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me.